you so much for joining us today. It's an honor to be able to celebrate the lives of the amazing activists that we are here to honor tonight. Thank you so much for doing that. Are you ready to have a great time with us honoring these amazing people? Yes, yes that's more like it. That sounds warmed up. Yes. So since you already got the round of applause pulled out of your pockets, we're going to keep that going by bringing up our first comedian of the night. He has just made a new movie and is starring in it. It is called Jimmy Vestwood, with a V, American Hero, and it will come out in the spring. He describes it as, are you ready for this? Persian Pink Panther meets Borat. Are you in? Right? He'd love for you to go see it. Please give a warm welcome to Maz Jabrani. Please begin that round of applause. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Um, you just made me think of the strawberry ice cream with your strawberry question. Um, thank you guys all for coming. I'm a comedian. Thank you, sir. Thank you for clapping. One person. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. Uh, first of all, it's great to be. Uh, I met Crystal uh, at a. Uh, it was the um, Dr. Drew thing, right? Dr. Drew has a TV show, uh, and they were talking about uh, Donald Trump, and they invited you. You were in the audience, and I was there, and we met afterwards, and you invited me. And it's amazing because some of you know who Reza Aslan is, of course. Reza Aslan, yes. As. A fellow Iranian, whenever I'm invited to an event, I call Reza. I go, Reza, are this, is this legit? And he goes, yes. <laughs> that's the only research I do. So whatever Reza says, I do. Uh, that's the Iranian community at work, ladies and gentlemen. But no, this is a great uh, cause. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for being uh, this evening and also what you guys do. Um, uh, when, you, when, when, when Crystal told me that uh, we're honoring people that have, that have suffered and in, been in prison, I thought, oh, great, comedy, perfect. Um, that's, thank you very much, Crystal, for inviting us. But there's a lot of stuff going on in this world that, that, that is important. Comedy actually helps with is because we talk about what's going on right now in America. It, it's very crazy. As you know, if you're of Middle Eastern descent, uh, or Arab, Muslim, Iranian, Afghan, I don't care, you speak your language on an airplane, you're getting kicked off. You've heard about this. I'm serious. Anyone, a lot of my Arab friends, you, hala machala machala, you're getting kicked off. Hala machala. <laughs> Don't say hala machala machala on an airplane. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, did you guys hear about this? There was an airline called Spirit Airlines. Have you heard of Spirit Airlines? If you've heard of Spirit Airlines, work harder so you don't have to hear about Spirit Airlines ever again. <laughs> there was a Middle Eastern uh, man on a Spirit Airlines. You heard about this, right? And he was looking at something on his phone that was like some violence going on. And there was a lady sitting next to him. And she saw it. And she got her daughter. They ran to the back. And they told the stewardess there's a mysterious looking man watching some violence on his phone. Mysterious means Middle Eastern looking, right? Watching some violence on his phone. They, they investigated, kicked him off, and it turned out it was just a Middle Eastern guy watching news on his phone. <laughs> yeah, no one is thinking, okay? Like, what does she think? What do you think? It's like, you're going to be ISIS looking at last minute instructional videos, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go like this, then I like that, then like this, then like that, and then like this, then like that. Hold on, don't fly. I'm not ready yet. I'm going to go like this, then I go like that. Then I go like that, then I go like that. Can I borrow your phone? I'm not getting good reception. I need. <laughs> no one's thinking. You know who gets it the worst when this stuff happens with all the terrorists? You know who gets it the worst? Indian Sikhs get it the worst. Yes, because racists don't know the difference. Racists should be encouraged to Google. <laughs> right? Just so they can tell the difference between ISIS and an Indian Sikh. I experienced it firsthand. I'm not kidding you. Not this Christmas, the Christmas before. So I'm Iranian. My wife is Indian. All right, we live in Los Angeles. Our neighbor's kid, half black, half white. Our kids, half Iranian, half Indian. Very diverse. We're used to diversity, all right? The neighbor's kid had his cousin come from Wisconsin. Little white kid from Wisconsin came to visit. I guess they don't have as much diversity over there because I took them to go see the movie Annie. And uh, we, we went to wash our hands before the movie started. And this Indian Sikh walked in wearing his turban, washed his hands, walked out. My kid, neighbor's kid, didn't blink, all right? Kid from Wisconsin lost his mind. I'm, his jaw dropped. He looked at me. He goes, that guy was ISIS. I go, what? He goes, the guy with the turban was ISIS. I go, no, dude. I go, calm down. I go, he's not ISIS. I go, that's an Indian Sikh. I go, first of all, I don't think ISIS would come to see Annie. I'm pretty sure they're not at their meeting. We must kill the infidel pigs. But before we do... 
Can I see Annie one more time? Because when she sings, it's a hard knock life for us. I'm like, yes, it is, Annie. It really is. I, too, am an orphan, Annie. And I told him, I said, secondly, I go, the guy's Indian. I go, my son is half Indian. You've been playing with him all weekend. The guy from Wisconsin, the kid got confused. He goes, your son is half ISIS? I go, no. I go, my wife was born in India. He goes, your wife is ISIS? I go, no. She's, I go, well, she terrorizes me, but that's, that's just because she's my wife. She's more like wife sis, which is an offshoot of ISIS. Uh, wives terrorizing husbands all over the world. We all know that. The husbands can clap for that one. Thank you. You're with me husbands yeah but I told the kid I go you need to go back to Wisconsin and stop watching Fox News all right because it's true if you watch too much Fox I'm telling you I said that too, if you watch too much Fox News you think the whole world is out to get you okay it is people are scared you watch too much that's, if you watch the people that support Donald Trump you know what they all say I love him because he says what's on his mind <laughs> he just says whatever he's on his he just says whatever he wants on his mind he just says it and you, I swear, you go, have you listened to the policies? No, but it's just, he says what's on his mind. It's great. My own mother, Iranian mother, she, I swear, she goes, I like the guy because he says what's on his mind. I go, mom, if he won, your relatives couldn't come from Iran to visit you. She goes, I don't like them anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. She says, he says what's on his mind, so I don't have to say what's on my mind, which is please don't visit me. I'm telling you guys. I was in a car. I was in an Uber with an Armenian guy. This guy, he was obviously an immigrant because his English was, he didn't even speak English well enough to call him a politician. He kept calling him a politic. I, so he's like, I like Donald Trump. He's very good politic. He's very good politic. I go, dude, what do you mean he's very good? I go, dude, you're an immigrant. He's anti-immigrant. He goes, yes, but I'm here. So that's different. <laughs> so I like his politic. But uh, uh, I actually have been doing stand-up for, for several years now. Uh, another comedian you'll see later tonight, Aaron Cater, we were both part of a group called the Access to Evil Comedy Tour, and we traveled all over the world. Yeah, thank you. It was a lot of fun. It was great. It was also great because you get to travel to other parts of the world, and you see that the rest of the world knows so much more about America than America knows about the rest of the world. I tell that all the time. I'm serious. Like People know because of the Internet. Like You could go to Saudi Arabia and do a joke about Lindsay Lohan, and they'd be like, oh, that Lindsay, she's so crazy. <laughs> Always in the rehab, you know. They know about it. But the one thing I do say is also that, you know, by doing stand-up, like, we, uh, we hope to, you know, help break stereotypes sometimes. As a matter of fact, when we first did the Axe Evil Comedy Tour, it came out on Comedy Central. And um, it, what was great about it was when you, they would show the audience and they would show people that did not, like, the American audiences weren't used to seeing laugh. And it was amazing. We actually saw an email somewhere of one guy writing another guy. It was, it was, a, um, it was actually a message board on, on, I think, on, on Sean Hannity's website or somewhere where one guy wrote. He said, I never knew these people laughed. <laughs> Seriously. And, I'm thinking, and, I, and I realized, like, you, like, we ne you never see Middle Easterners or Muslims laughing like in, a, in American movies. And maybe an evil, like, whoa. <laughs> you know, I will kill you in the name of Allah. Whoa. <laughs> but never like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and it's great. So... That was part of what we did, and, 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 I'm, and, I, and I'm happy about it. And, and I do say, like, I think stand-up and a lot of the different arts can help break stereotypes. But I always tell people, we, we, you got to check yourselves. I think we all stereotype. Everybody stereotypes, all right? Check yourselves, okay? Because I had to do this myself. I was in Dubai doing a show. A lot of Indians in Dubai, and a lot of them are day laborers. You know, they don't get paid that well. Uh, and it got in my mind that all the Indians in Dubai must be day laborers. I'm so stupid. Of course, there's going to be successful Indians as well. So I was doing a show that said, we're going to send a driver to pick you up. So I went down to the lobby, and I'm looking around for my driver. I'm like, where is he? And I saw an Indian guy. I go, he's got to be my driver. Because he was, he was standing there like in a, in a black suit and a thin mustache just staring at me. So I go over. I go, excuse me, sir. Are you my driver? He goes, no, sir. I own the hotel. I go, I'm sorry. Then why are you staring at me? He goes, I thought you were my driver. And that's the lesson. I'm Maz Jobrani. Have a good evening tonight. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Tom. Here we go. The show started.